Hello everyone, welcome again and today I'm going to show you another demo of a Spring Boot project and this is housing stay project like uh, if someone going to visit some places and there are some hotels or there are some houses where only house owner can, uh, house owner can register into the application and customer can directly book that rooms, that places for one or two days so it's kind of hotel management or you can say tourism management project uh, so especially for the accommodation okay uh, so let's move to the technology details so as we have uh, as we are using a spring boot here so for the controller side it's using a spring boot for the back end it's using a mysql with havenet and uh, it's deployed over the tomcat server and if you can see it's running here and it's following complete mbc architecture uh, and we have different different DAO and service classes are there okay so uh, if you have if, if, if you have already this project or you are planning to buy this project from us so or uh, so our team as provide as we are providing the configuration support at your machine so in this condition we will uh, share the code with you we will set up all the things in your ID and then uh, we'll set up the mysql workbench here so if you can see in the mysql workbench it's using uh it's, it has a tables different different tables are there and there is a user table under the user table we have different data according to the rule we'll discuss it later in a while so this will be your database environment so we will uh, set up at your machine and after that what you need to do to run the project that is the complete demo all about so at the very first if you have running a server in your machine just stop it and then open the first package like this package and run the projects to run the project just right click on the this root file housing stay application or java go to run as select the spring boot app you can run on a server as well so i'm using spring boot app make sure uh, you can see this console logs and then uh, check your port number and which port number the project is running over there and after that just open the application or property file and copy this path url go to your browser and enter localhost 8080 whatever the port number is running over there and then slash and then print the context path just hit the enter and it will automatically reload the project so let's see the demo one by one then we'll move to the uh, other things so the very first let's understand some roles in this project so we have three uh, roles in the system first is admin second is user and the owners so house owners so let's log in at the very first let's log in as an owner and then we'll see user and admin things okay now uh, how we differentiate uh, the different different roles in a single table so if you notice we have a, a role id here one two three according to these ids we are managing the user role so the very first if you launch the application first time it will look like this it has a home uh, about us contact us sign up uh, sign in and sign up page uh, under the sign up we have a sign up for users and owners so user can also easily uh, fill up this form and register into the system and owner also can do the same thing okay uh, now i'm going to sign in with uh, <coughs> owner and this is my username and this is password so i'm going to enter the password here the sign in here so what a house owner can perform let's say i have a uh, I, I i need to add a home there so let's say house midway house midway house midway, midway, whatever it is. okay i'm using the like uh, dummy data here and some 10 digit number and number of rooms in this house let's say i have uh, five rooms and the location but uh, like facilities what facilities i'm going to provide there so i'm going to enter some dummy data so these are the amenities are there and complete address click on the save so i can edit the new data it will display into the home list so these are my new uh 
home uh, in this database so now uh, what I can perform in that I can perform edit operation I can perform delete operation I can view the rooms so let's say currently that rooms are not booking that's why it's not showing under the room once the room will be booked then it will show like this okay okay uh, to delete the re uh, record just check click on this checkbox click the delete button to edit the record just click right there and edit the records okay next thing we have a uh, uh, added tool package let's say for, for particular home stay I'm going to share uh, some tool package so let's say I select this home stay and enter the name of customer name so let's say user and the contact number number of days let's say for five and let's say destination whatever the destination we are going to provide in the for the tool package into the prices let's say 20k and what are the facilities we are providing here in this tool click on save the data will be displayed here again we can perform crude operation edit delete update also search is there and then i can add a room as an owner i can add a new rooms on particular house let's say i have one house this house in this house i want to add a room number this and i'm going to save this so okay uh for my end like uh, as an owner i can check the booking also if your customer come and he booked uh, he or she book uh, some hotels or some tours or some home that list i can see here also we have option to print the data so i can print the record as well <clears throat> that's good okay uh, now how much is done uh, for the tour booking i can check the list of tour bookings help center is there help report is there okay so this um, uh, some common things like my profile and change password will be there let's hit the logout and now log in as a new user so i'm going to use this user id some existing user you can register as a new user as well that's not an issue and i'm going to enter the password username and the password hit the sign in button so i can check the list of home stay and if i want to book some i can book so go to home stay click on the book and select the room let's say i select this room and i want to go for the check-in I'm going to go for the checkout in 13 click on the save the room is su successfully now i can check my bookings are here okay and tool package same in the same process i can book the tool package for let's say book for 12 to 14 click on save and i can check the my tool booking so these are the functionality for the user side also user can search uh, records by booking number dates or uh, from to do date and same here we have uh, but user doesn't have any access to edit or delete the records and so we have a help center if in case uh, any issue i can raise a ticket that will be solved by the admin so that's done the help center i've raised a ticket to the help center i can check it's there but i didn't get any comment here so admin will put some comment there feedback questions so i can add a feedback after leaving the hotel i can uh, home i can give some feedback to the user okay now the last user we have as an admin so i'm going to log in as an admin and show you what admin can perform admin will manage the feedback and help center things that particular user is facing so we have an option here help help report so admin can easily check the uh, issues if you remember we just reported one issue new issue and uh, i can take an action as an admin and i can add the solution there when i click to the save button the data will be displayed here also and the same data will display to the uh, user as well i can add a new feedback i can enter uh, any question for the feedback the question will be displayed to the user so user can also provide the feedback also i can check the available feedback for the users other common profiles like my profile change password and all these things go to home and here we have a contact us page for all these users these are the common and static pages 
okay uh, so now how can you get the source code so we have a, a contact like uh, you can uh, whatsapp us you can directly mail us and you can check the link in the description box also so you will get complete detail of the project price and all and the process to have it and uh, you can mail us you can whatsapp us you can ping us uh, skype also make sure we have a remote support so in case you are stuck somewhere in the configuration to run the project so we will uh, really have, we are going to help you to run the project at your machine as well in case you want to uh, uh, join the development sessions how can we develop this these things so if you want to understand the internal flow of the project how the code is working there so you can be also provided the service you can contact us you can join us and take the benefits thank you